Welcome to the Crazy Family Show. Good morning, folks. Crazy Dad here. It is 7.54. Just like yesterday, punching it to work. Stopped to get coffee, and that was a gong show. Because they didn't have the express lane open, because God forbid that. They have 10 people back there. And uh, one guy lost it on one of the ladies there and was like, why didn't you have the express lane open? And she's like, well, we're too busy. And I'm like, I mean, I'm standing near the front, so it was fine for me. But I'm just like, this is a really, oh, and then the lady at the front was a trainee. Like, if you're going to be working for a company, you don't train the person at the busiest time of the day. Crazy mom said, it's like, morning. Good morning. Traffic is a pain in the arse as usual. And there's no reason for it. Like, usually if there's like an accident, fine. But if it's just like traffic, volume, volume. Like, just people don't know how to merge and yeah. don't, like that idiot that just cut right into the HOV lane just up there just now, like, mm -hmm. <sighs> stupid. But it's, it's just people don't know how to merge properly and they make everyone stop because they don't know how to merge, yeah. which ties everybody up. Yep. But it's Thursday, it's my Friday. Yay! And it's beef dip day at work, so that makes and it's payday. So it's like three things in one. Next, you just gotta win the lottery. Then I'm a happy camper. Maybe I'll win the payday lottery. That'd be awesome. Right before going on vacation, that'd be friggin' awesome. Just like waiting or wishing to wait. See, and there's that idiot again, stopping. Stop and go. Get, like again, you mm -hmm. don't know how to merge. Don't stop so that you can get into the other lane. Like. <sighs> Hashtag anger. You keep going till you find a spot and then you merge in gracefully. Yeah, exactly. As opposed to the alternative, which is what this guy's doing. You put your indicator on and you wait for someone to see that you want in and... Then, then they don't let you in. <laughs> no, but most times, if you have your indicator on well enough in advance, yeah. someone behind you will see and they will let you in. Yes. Most times. Yes. There are some idiots out there that are like, I'm not letting you in because I got here first. Fuck you. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Because really, me merging in front of you is going to make you late. Mm -hmm. Or the folks that like, because you're, you're going too slow and like zip by you and faster than the speed limit is, even though Normal, you're going to the speed limit. So normally, yep. I don't say that I'm, I'm I wouldn't say that I'm a, a excessive speeder. No. But, I mean, I, I guess I'm saying something bad here, but <laughs> I usually Jeez. go a little over the speed limit, usually 10 clicks higher. Just, and, and, and you know, it's not even because I'm being reckless, it's, you know, keeping up with traffic. Well, and that's just it though. It's like, so you speed past me because I'm going too slow for you, and yet you got, what, two feet quicker or two feet further ahead than you were before? I don't know. It's and, and seriously, it's things like All for that. What two seconds? Yeah, it's things like that where I'm kind of like, you know what? I'm glad I don't drive. But at the same token, I really should bone up and, and study the learner's guide and get my learners. And hope crazy mom out so she not have to do all the driving. And being 37, probably should do it. Because I can. Like the last time I got my eyes tested, they're like, oh yeah, you can do it. Lots of people drive with just one eye. I'm like, okay. Pretty much like most people. Well, if, We'll be living in her car. <laughs> no, no, we'll just buy like a little beater car for me. <clears throat> and then I can fight the, the parking lot at work like we do every morning trying to find a parking spot sometimes. The thing at work is it's it's paid parking and they have a lot of spots that are well, monthly pretty parking. Much anywhere in Vancouver. It doesn't matter this is where true. you work, it's gonna be paid parking yeah. because Impark has bought all the parking lots. Yeah. I don't feel like if you work for a company, it doesn't matter what company you work for, right? If you work for a company and they have a company parking lot, I don't feel you should have to pay. Like, that's just a cash grab as far as I'm concerned. And it's not the company. The company didn't have to sell the parking lot to no, said parking all company. about the bottom dollar, though. Yeah. No, I, well, it's business. I mean, and I understand that. I, you know, it's like people floating. You know how much they make? Oh, I know. They make a kill. On the, on the parking lots? Okay, so there's all those monthly passes. Yeah, those right? are about 35 bucks a month, aren't they? 35 bucks a month. Yeah. Ty, uh, and so there's like, I don't know how many. There's tons of those. Yeah. And then there's all of us who park Five bucks daily. A day. Five dollars a day. Yep. 
um, and you know, like there's at least a hundred spots mm -hmm. and on then, the top. Yeah. And then you got BCIT across the way that makes all the money from the overflow from our lot. Yeah, but um, mm -hmm. you know, and in park, yes, of course, does get a the majority of that money, mm -hmm. but. I'm sure they have to pay tell us something of that. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. But I just feel like you shouldn't, if you work for a company, you shouldn't have to pay to park in the parking lot. Like, <laughs> I just think it's stupid, personally. That's just me, though. Although, I do have to say, you know, there is places where you have to pay a lot more than $5 a day. New York? Yep. I've seen the prices of, like, daily parking in New York. I think there was one, I can't remember who posted it. Somebody posted it on one of my friends on Facebook, and it was, like, I think it was, like, $11, $11 a day or $11 Move an hour or something. I can't remember. Moving the camera. Um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I booked off the 12th of March. Or 12th or 13th? No, 13th of March. So I literally have, like, seven days off. The week off that Crazy Mama's got her surgery thing going on, like we said yesterday. So seven days of R and R, playing some, uh, probably play some Destiny, some wrestling, stream it, uh, get rid of stuff in the house we don't need. Actually, can do some spring cleaning, and uh, just kind of get it, you know, looking good. No, that doesn't look good. It looks good. It looks fine. Just gotta get some. Come on, what is going on up, up here? Stuff. It's this these bloody trucks yeah trucks should have their own road yeah there should be a lane that's only for trucks <laughs> yeah sort of like the hov the hov lane just have a truck lane so oh man well let's blow through this day let's see what the rest of the day brings and uh hopefully it goes quick though not trucks like you know your regular mm -hmm. four by four no, no, Jimmy. nothing like the one over here. But like, I'm talking like big semi trucks the and stuff. The big semi trucks that take up that take forever to start up, and because they got to go through their different gears and stuff. Those are the ones we're talking about. Anywho, let's blow through the day. Like I said, okay. So it's about oh, nine ish after, so sort of. Kids are in bed. Chris is watching Friends. I'm gonna hit up my good buddy Ed and have a chat with him because I haven't talked to him for like forever. Because we've all been uber busy. But I'm off. Yes. Two days of R&R. &R. Taking Crazy Xander to my folks' house uh, for the weekend. I think he's going to Grouse Mountain or something. I don't know. It's all good. But yeah, been a long day. Tired. Gonna chit chat. Go to bed. And chill tomorrow. Thank you so much as always for stopping by. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. But as always, make sure you come back tomorrow. We'll see you then.